right, welcome to JLG Woodworking. Today we're going to be making a coffee table with a pneumatic lift that's going to be able to raise up and lower down. In this particular instance, this is actually going to be used to hold the dollhouse because my daughter is in a wheelchair so she cannot access the upper and lower floors. So we're going to put the dollhouse on top of this and we're going to be able to, she'll be able to play with it lower and upper. A normal use for this particular piece of furniture is you would use it as a, a coffee table that you can raise for eating at like dinner height. This particular lift I went ahead and I purchased on Etsy. It holds up to 220 pounds. It comes with a remote control which raises and lowers it. All right so without further ado let's get into the build. Okay, so what you didn't see is we glued up the top, we took some 5 quarter inch pine, and now we're just running it through a shop made jig, which we had a slab, flat, slab flattening jig, so that we can go ahead and get both sides trued up, and everything will be nice and even. In the future, what we'll probably do is we'll do another video, show you exactly how to make one of these jigs for your own shop. So we're passing the router in both directions. Because when you go just in one direction, you're going to get the lines, don't worry about it. Get the flat and you When you come back in the other direction, you'll go ahead and get rid of those lines. Now I'm just taking the track saw. I'm going to go ahead and square up our piece, cut all four sides. I'm going to check it with the square. After we got the piece square, we're going to go ahead and grab our sander. I'm not going to show you a lot of this. We're just going to sand the piece, get it nice and smooth. We're sanding up to 180 grit because we're going to be using Rubio Monica. Just passing the eighth inch round over bit over on the corners. We're going to do both sides. Gives it a nice clean finished look. hand sanding the edges with 180 grit festival sanding pad. Do this by hand. Try not to do this with the machine. You can round over your round overs. Over at the chop saw, we're going to mark and cut the pieces for the skirt. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to run them through the jointer and the planer. I'm just rubbing in a little bit of Starbond CA glue here. I'm going to spray it with activator. I'm going to fill the cracks up nice. This way when we apply our finish, everything will be nice and solid. pocket foreman we're going to put pocket screws to assemble the skirt nice and easy doesn't really need anything else no one's going to see it we're just going to route the butt ends before we assemble because we won't be able to get it these once everything is screwed together Here I'm just using inch and a half pocket screws. We're going to screw the skirt together and get everything ready for finish. Up 
final step before finishing, we're just going to sand everything down by hand so that we can get ready to put some mineral spirits on. Rubio's manufacturer does not recommend using mineral spirits. They have a raw wood cleaner, but I find it does the same thing. I let the mineral spirits dry overnight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do three parts of the Rubio and part A and one part of Rubio part B. You don't have to use the part B. But if you do, you go ahead and stir it up, get everything nice and mixed, and then we're going to spread it out on the piece. We're going to go ahead and grab plastic trowel. We're going to go ahead and easily spread it out nice and smooth so we can get ready to go ahead and buff this in. You don't have to use the buffer, but I find it helps it better shape the wood better. We're going to finish both sides at the same time. It prevents cupping and warping. When we finish both sides at the same time, obviously we work on the bottom of the piece before we work on the top. So we waited overnight and came back the next day. And now we're attaching our skirt with pocket screws. So there you see the top and the skirt attached. Now I'm just gonna unbox the lift. I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage it, plug it in, test it out, just make sure everything works. Now that we got it laid in there, we're going to go ahead and we drill out for our furniture connectors and our insets. It just makes it easier than having the screw in and out because now we can put it in and take it off whenever we desire. Just giving the fully assembled unit one final test run with the lift. So here you see it in place with the dollhouse on top. We're using the wheelchair as a reference, so we know that she'll be able to access all the floors of the dollhouse. If you like what you see here today, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And thank you for watching JLG.